to Welcome to Life is Full of It. I'm here again, Ernie, and of course, Declan. <laughs> this is a high energy body. No, because I was going to say, like, of course, you're, but like, it jumps through whoever. I'm uh-huh. the one that's uh-huh. on it, I guess, all the time. I always hope that sometimes I could step out. Even with Best There Is, I always hope that people would step in and so it's always a rotating cast and people could be fans and be like you know what i don't really like when ernie's on or i don't like when declan's on i like when blah 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 so people had favorites but whatever (sighs) we were just talking about comic or car chops and how they're booming and losing um goes both ways Yeah, they don't have comic shops anymore i mean people don't buy comics anymore they're kind of lame there is an argument on one of the Facebook groups that they're saying that ow. the movies are ruined. Oh, yeah. You guys might hear me say ow periodically throughout this. I fell on my back, and my ribs are all fucked up. So, How did you continue. fall on your back? Like I said, <laughs> I drank too much. A cat escaped. So I run around the house trying to find a cat in just underwear, by the way. Um, and, yeah, Very I was coming visual. down the stairs too fast, and I basically... My feet gave out from under me, and I just landed on, like, those bottom four stairs, just different parts of my body. You didn't land like a cat, though. No. I didn't fall, though. I didn't, like, fall, right? Like, how, like, how uh, am I... Uh, 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 yeah, it was like this. It was like Peter Griffin do, 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 when he do, do, falls do, do. down the stairs? <laughs> just that, that clay position? Yeah, where he's all, like, crossed up and laid over. Um, no. Yeah. It wasn't that eventful. It was just very painful. And Wait. now it hurts to breathe or talk or exist. I'm telling you, <laughs> shit's broken. And no, like I said, I've fallen on my ribs before a lot harder. And that's when I thought they were broken. This Dude, is nothing I'm, like I'm that. I'm unbreakable. Have you had broken bones? You have broken nope. bones. Nope. Really? Yep. I always think I'm special, but apparently I'm not. Nope. I probably have had fractures here and there. Yeah. Like I punched a uh, brick wall. And I fucked up my hands for like a week or so. Why? Uh, my teacher gets me out of the classroom when I wasn't doing anything. Like literally, like the kid behind me was talking, and the teacher's like out, and I'm like, "What?" The yeah, guy behind like, the kid. Fuck you! And you punched him. No, the kid behind me was um, like, yeah, no, he wasn't talking. Like out, and I was like, "What the fuck?" And like he just wouldn't, he wouldn't let me, like was, argue was, for. He's just he's... out, out, out. And every time I tried to say something, then finally I went outside, and I just. Were you in a special class? No, I was in English. Oh, I make sure you were in a slow class and no. just yelling at some kid. No. That would have been funny. It wouldn't have been. No, it would not have been. Um, That would have been a hate crime. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you hitting the brick wall? Or the brick wall hitting me. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, don't say, they're on this comic page I'm always on, they're really <clears throat> hardcore about Miss Marvel right now. and Like, like how... Like cont- horrible, they hate it. Okay, and they're like, it's ruining comic book sales. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I get not liking it, whatever. Sure, but it's like we're talking about how comic book sales, comic book sales. But then people are showing up graphs and like, look how much it's gone up. I don't think so. They're saying that um, manga it sells more than that, and I would believe it. it's hard because Marvel and DC seem like a lot bigger of a thing, but. Uh, it's because they're like companies, whereas manga's like not quite, they're like individual authors, right? Yeah. It's like less of a coherent, um, printing style. You know, it's not all under one label. Some, some books are printed by Dark Horse. And also they're not like comics though. Well, yeah, it's a long form storytelling without different writers on it. And it's not like, also like a comic. It's not a floppy, it's like a book. Well, it's because... They release them in Japan in magazines mm. of just like here's like Shonen Jump is a bit is a big one. It's the one I'm subscribed to. Um, you get the sh- every week you get the Shonen Jump. Obviously, we don't they don't do the English printing anymore because it's just not cost effective. Um, but in Japan, you go to like um, you know I'm trying to think of a place you'd buy like a like a newspaper stand and you'll just pick up this week's iteration and it'll just have. Naruto, One Piece, all the all each the, chapter all from the, the stories week. in that one magazine. But it's only one chapter because it's one. It's written weekly. Mm. So like, what so you're looking like at getting the funnies. What you're looking at is like a volume. Those are the books. People is it buy. like getting newspaper funnies where Garfield has one story and the Spider Man has one story? That's what happens when you pull out your cell phone. I don't know if it was like that's what did it. <laughs> um. You're connecting to aliens. 
So yeah, it's like there it is, Morty. It's like this chapter is like twenty nine pages. It's oh, not and they down. only give you one, that. Wait, so that's in one magazine? So in one magazine will contain this chapter and this chapter. It'll contain like the most recent chapters mm. from all the series under the. Do label. people collect those? As in, like, there isn't a much as much of a market. One, because I know, but like you they don't it. exist in the U.S. I know, anymore. but like if they live there and then like they get that issue, then the next issue has all the other ones. If you want to go back to read like a story you liked or well nowadays a chapter you write liked, or it's like accessible on the internet more than comic books are. Right, comic books are kind of gatekeep from being like on do the you, internet. Do you think? Um, do they, I think? Uh, do they, uh, 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 I'll try and get it out. That wiener. Uh, that which one's more torn to though? Probably manga. I think so. Well, when they're not American companies, so. It's pretty normal, like, to, like, guys jerking off to hentai and shit like that, right? I'm a man of culture myself. I'm somewhat of a scientist myself. Yeah. Um, did you know he has a... He has a, weird, a weirdly large dick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did know that. I've heard that from uh-huh. someone. Um, yeah. But I just... It's just weird People have been jacking off to cartoons and drawings forever, though, right? To be fair. I... No, I before we had photos, <laughs> I know Theo Vaughn talked about that, but I don't. Do you believe, believe it? Or no. not, not a goddamn thing, right? Uh, most of the things I do not believe. They're funny. He, I'm not saying he's not funny. Fun. He's like, yeah, boy, like we couldn't get porn, so we used to get our friend Jeremy. Our friend Jeremy would draw us vaginas for three dollars a piece, um, and he's like, <laughs> he always said four dollars a piece. And Joe Rogan's <clears> like, you pay four dollars, or he goes, you'd pay eight. You'd pay eight. These are good looking pictures, <laughs> and that's what we masturbate to. And I'm just like, these aren't real. These aren't real stories. Yeah, so. We had a retarded guy that used to make us masturbate him for some candy. We just go back there. We didn't know any better. He's like, we just wanted candy, and it's like these are not real stories. And it's weird because he's from the real world, the TV show Real World. He came originally from. That's how he like came on the scene. Was on Real World and how I knew him. He was a very outcast. No one really liked him because he was weird. Mm-hmm. And then it totally played off into uh, now. But everyone always like. Adam, too, will send me things of him saying inspirational things, like, don't give up on yourself, and blah, 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 blah. And the I'm only like, inspiration you need is David Goggins. Who? David Goggins. Who's David Goggins? the bald guy, buff guy who runs a lot. Oh, I... Who's going to carry the boats? Who's going to carry the logs? That, yeah. I don't know. I'm David Goggins, motherfucker. If you see me fight... The, if you see me fight the bear, help the bear. <laughs> he sent Joe Rogan that text. Jesus Christ. That guy, I believe, is, uh, David Goggins, I believe, is genuine. I mean... There's just crazy people out there that are like... Because this guy does, like, all kinds of... Like, he was an ex-Navy SEAL. He was like... Was he? I thought he was in horrible shape before. He right? was, and then he got he- in hella good shape. But how are you a Navy SEAL and not in shape? Or did he get in shape for being a Navy SEAL? I think it was through becoming a Navy SEAL he got in better shape. I don't know. I felt like it was more of a recent thing. But he just does... Hor- like, just... Will swim with his arms tied behind his back. He's a fucking jump out of a plane to help put fires out. Really? Yeah. For <laughs> free too. Does he fly around and just blow? <laughs> no, he jumps mean. out to like they like spot fires as the plane's going. I'm gonna tackle this fire. And they parachute. I believe they parachute down to try to put the fire. Have you seen? And then the boy, do you do watch you parachute to go take out a fire? Yep. I'm gonna fight it. <laughs> Like I don't I, know. I don't know about this 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 occupation. Usually, you just dump fucking shit on it. To at that point, you don't jump from a plane and be like, "I got this." Um, they were taught. One of the funniest bits uh, is uh, by that I've ever heard is by Randy Feltface. He's that like puppet comedian I've shown you a couple times. Yeah, He's I a purple think so. puppet. Yeah, he is. He, he talks about uh, during like the uh, Australian fires that they discovered a man, like in the, a body of a man, a scuba diving man in the fires oh, which means it. somebody went into the ocean scooped them up you know how those, those big helicopters or planes that come scoop water up oh. he's just swimming and all of a sudden scoop and then he gets dropped out of the sky you go from scuba diving to skydiving with an explosion <laughs> explosive on your back well it's funny because i we were talking on the last one on the last podcast and <laughs> i don't know why my brain went to it i feel horrible Jake was talking about um, jumping out of a plane for uh, par- uh, skydiving. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what is it like? Because it's like, you know, when you fall, it's like you got 
I feel like you have a million thoughts that could go through your head. Like, I always think of, when I think about falling, I think of 9-11 people jumping out of the buildings and the horrible thoughts that you probably have. Like, you're like, oh my God, I'm going to die. And then, like, I mean, it's him, silent. Him, right and Ad, him and Adam just looked at me like, where the fuck did that come that's from? That's fucking horrible. And I was like, I'm sorry. That's like what went to my mind when I thought jumping. Yeah, you don't have to vocalize that. <laughs> jumping out of something is like how rushed your thoughts would be. And he told me it's like basically he was saying like 15 seconds of thinking and that's it. Then you're parachuting or whatever. Yeah. And sounds like a waste of fucking money. It's something I would never do, I said. But no, I didn't say all that, but I would never do it. I don't care how brave I get. I don't care how much um, drugs I'm on. I'm never jumping out of a plane. Not with that attitude. No, never, never. That's some just crazy people shit. Like, like the we're talking about. Just the, say what you want to say. That's white people. That's shit. white people shit. Uh, squirrel trying to like squirrel flying. With, yeah, like near death experiences. That's white people shit. Climbing mountains and shit like that. That like the guy who climbed half dome so that yeah no. or the fucking dude that got the james franco movie where his arm got stuck and he had to cut it off 48 hours 72 hours 96 hours 24 hours 60 minutes <laughs> i don't know <laughs> two minutes that whole movie's just him screaming <gasps> oh thank god you guys are here i got it out <laughs> just 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 lift this this rock off my arm cool i don't have to cut i it off couldn't anything. imagine dude being like that where you have it stuck in that panic feeling and then you have to cut your you're arm like, oh my off. god oh you're tugging how hard you're like oh my god oh my god it's not coming out then you're like oh well maybe if i fucking like spit on it for a while you don't ever really think i'm gonna have to cut this fucker mm-hmm. off that's fucking crazy it's like it, it, you're saying the white thing it's like sh- a saw thing they're showing a, a these little kids going into a, a haunted house. Well, it was kind of haunted, but it was Michael Myers. It was only a little haunted. <laughs> well, they only walked in like this one part. It was because of their little kids, where Michael Myers walked up to them and grabbed their hand like gently and like walked to them to sit on them like Santa. Mm-hmm. And every kid they showed was white. We were hella terrified. A black girl walked in, little black girl. She looked at him, was like, "Nope." She turned around and left. And that was the whole thing of the, seen the, the video was like they're like black black people don't mess around or whatever. But that it's clip like, of like a funny it's, it's like a joke true. skit video, but it's like a ghost coming at a guy. He runs off screen, then he runs back and hits the ghost with a uh, with a chair. That that's the way to go about it. Yeah. We, um, with the, I saw a clip of he brought Mike Myers. I saw a clip of people that are like doing a driving horror thing. Chris was always and like, Mike we Myers do that. I'm like, no. It's running at them. Then he trips and hits his head in the back of the car. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't help. The car's going like five miles an hour, so it's just really you just hear thunk. It's That's a good sound effect. Crystal was always like, you should try the one where like he turns his head real fast at people when they're looking at him. I'm like, no, man. Our luck, we're gonna get someone pull a gun on us. Someone's gonna be mad. People, some people don't like to be afraid. They don't, they're not good sports. Like, I'm a good sport about shit. I, I, mean, I ain't afraid of shit. I, I'll jump about everything, dude. But I'm... I, I'll I'm afraid s- of real things. <laughs> no, like, that, that's, that's... Sir, that's... you have a lump on your nuts. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> don't touch me! You got nine hours of to live. You're just... Yeah, that's just fucking more... Yeah, No, but like sharks, right? Like if you stuck me in a, a pool with a shark, would you go cage in a cage with a shark? Fuck no! I swam with sharks before, but like nice, I've held a shark before. But these are like nice sharks. These like sharks. how do you know they're like because uh, they're like we don't eat one. Peop- there's like t- tours. We don't eat humans. There's tours wink. that go out there like five times a day for like year round. So all these yeah, sharks. Well, one day shark might go shark. Sure, 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 sure. Shark, shark, and a shark. Just like uh, what was uh, once a shark, always a shark. Uh, not David Blaine. What the fuck? Fri- Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> one of their tigers attacked him, and everyone was all like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, that's a tiger. And Chris Rock was like, "Like that tiger went tiger." He's yeah. like, "That's not something like abnormal that like a tiger is gonna Dude, be." But I I've like seen, tigers. I see people big like cats. laying around with tigers and shit though. And Mike Tyson talks about it. He's like, "Tigers, they have one person. They have one person. They." Mike Tyson's tigers only wanted to be around him. Mm. Every time somebody else came around, they tried to kill that person. Maybe if you got them from, I think he got them. No, from you babies. can't domesticate those from kinds of animals. Babies, no. They'll still, they'll still slip on you. One. Uh, you know those guys that works with works with. I watched in a movie where a guy domesticated uh, a raptor. So 
I, I, that was a genetically I, modified raptor, though. So I don't know about what you were getting at. I believe the documentary was called Jurassic Park. Oh, oh, oh! I think that card. I think that's in my card game. I, yeah, it's it's like dinosaurs, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never heard of that before until I pl- played Magic the Gathering. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> crazy. I saw a lot of. Uh, how do you? Is it same thing with everything? The collector packs are the ones that have the value. Yeah. yeah. I saw people sharing them, and I'm like, those are really cool. The collector ones. You seen the ones with the big fucking. They have the stand that are like a thousand dollars. Yeah, but you only you gotta get a collector scene. You gotta spend four hundred dollars. I love Jurassic tour. Park. It's my favorite movie of all Jurassic time. Jurassic Park is crazy because Jurassic Park holds up so fucking well. So me and Tyler, one of Tyler's roommates, Andy, and Tyler know. is the owner of. Just in case someone listens to this, no, we're not just throwing out. <laughs> Just a name. Just, just you don't even have to put the business there. It's fine. No, but he's owner of the car shop. I'd rather right? you not. I was just gonna. I just wanted I'm to just tell saying the story. He's owner of a car shop. That's a dude you like and you go. To. No, I hate him. Fuck that guy. Right. But yeah, uh, his roommate hates that movie. Thinks it's bad. What? Yeah, and me, me and Tyler, like, what the fuck are you talking about? That That's movie is nice, so dude. good. That movie was is fucking what? Thirty years old. Ninety three. This actually was 60 billion years in the making. <laughs> <laughs> it says on the poster. Um, but yeah, I like Jurassic Park a lot. And but I, I have no interest in I those cards. I think it came out in 93. It did. I think. Wait, I looked it up the other day. Oh, but I'm good. Let's just say that because I got it off the top of my I got dome. it off the top of my dome first, too. And then I had to look it up to make sure I was right. Um, okay, you're not special. I just think uh, yeah, I'm very special. So I think of the, the grade I'm in. But that, that's the craziness about that movie is how well it holds up. Cause how there's a good few, it looks. Yeah. How, yeah, there's a few movies you'll watch and you're like, damn. Well, like, that's because like, the practical effects. And you just let it go. You tell people, eh. like, I like Willow a lot, but like they do really good prosthetics. There's a scene where they turn them into... Um, Willow? Willow. You don't know Willow. Gotta is that te- like Bo? Huh? I don't know Bo. I don't know Willow. Sure. You don't, you know, they don't know Bo? No. Bo Jackson? They, there's a you don't know Bo? Yeah. I thought it was, his campaign was Bo knows basketball, Bo knows football, Bo knows soccer ball. Oh, no, maybe I'm thinking of a rap, a rap song or something. Because, what song is that? Bo knows, oh, that's a Wu-Tang song. Cause I don't know. But regardless. The dead dog is first off the bat. I, I just feel like. Bo knows uh, this. Bo, <laughs> Bo don't know Jack, because Bo can't rap. Yeah, well, Bo doesn't do those things. I know. That's what the line There was is. a great cartoon that was Bo Jackson, That's Wayne Gretzky, and Michael Jordan, and they're called the Super Athletes. Yeah, well, two of those are the greatest of all time, and one of them got injured before he did literally anything. So And so they would go always help kids, and they would go like... Is that like G.I. Joe? Yeah. Like it, at the end of the episode, don't smoke crack, I'm kids. pretty sure that happened in all the 90s cartoons. So. People smoking crack? Yeah. <laughs> Just like Everyone burned up at the end of every episode. Burned up? Shooting Burn. darts, dude. If you watch the how G. many G. darts do you pull a if day? If you watch bro? the GI Joe ones, they're pretty fucking raw. I mean, they're like someone calls and says, "Hey, kid." He's like, "I got some sweet candy for you if you, you know, come by in my car." And then the kid just runs outside. I don't know how the guy got his number. I don't know any of that. Like, there was no thinking when they wrote shit like this. But he runs outside, and luckily Roadblock is stalking the house because he's outside. And then. He goes, hey, Roadblock, I'm about to get some free candy. And then the car just flies away. And he's like, I don't think that was what he was going to do. And that's kind of all I seen of the video. Mm. But it's just weird that that's what they used to do. Sonic would always be like, don't hey, talk to tell strangers. Tell me Roblox just out here. Yeah. He's just waiting around a kid's house. Yeah. And he's blaming the, uh, the the other car for being creepy. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'll just watch you. I don't want to actually do anything. But. It's kind of like weird because Roblox a big, huge, bald, black dude. And he's just like, come out here. And he's like... Hey, but I mean, the, I like to have him as my protector if he's protecting you. Watching you through the window like, I got your back. Don't worry, boy, I got your back. But no. Anyways, uh, yeah, Jurassic Park, that's crazy, but so, somebody, <laughs> someone cannot like, like that. Movie. Like, I, I I don't, I think I would argue with people, like, if they told me they disliked it. Yeah. Because the story's Well, you gotta realize that when someone doesn't like it, that they're just acting irrational and you can't have an argument with them. Cause they but don't, I mean, they don't know what they're but, talking. But about. I mean, if people don't like things, no, it's like people say, "Yeah, this space doesn't exist." You're, you're supposed. What are you to... talking about? Space doesn't exist. That's such a basic fact to the reality of the world we live in. That that not believing that, I don't want to have an argument with you because I you're stupid. 
What about Flat Earth? Yeah, that's just bad faith. Like, but they bring up all these different things that are totally not true that I can uh, I can observe with my eyes and be like, that's dumb. They're like, those are all CGI. Those are all from NASA's giving us CGI. And the moon landing was fake. But we've been back to the moon, right? No, we're going again, though. That'd be a nice little trip. Um, Could you go on a uh, NASA trip? Could I? Yeah. Personally? You, like, you want to go in Tiki, like Willy Wonka. And, would I go or could I go? No. Could... It, you already got the Willy Wonka ticket. You could go all you want. Now, can you actually go on the expedition? I would get so fucked up in my mind looking out the window and seeing Earth and knowing my feet aren't touching it. It would fuck me up. Just the idea of I'm not on Yeah, Earth that would anymore. be true if space was real. <laughs> if there was such thing as the moon... It's just like I'm like, oh my god, what if this happens? My brain's just gonna. Do people who believe in the flat Earth believe in the flat moon? No, that's the thing is I don't know if they bring that up because I'm like, why don't you guys see that? That's a circle. Yeah. But it, <laughs> the argument isn't whether the flat Earth is a circle. Well, the argument is if it's a sphere. sphere. But do they think the moon's just a flat disc, just disc <laughs> in the air? And what about the sun? What do they think the sun is? See, that's why you can't argue with these people. I've seen a lot, a lot of clips where they try to be very convincing, and they'll show like a couple pictures. Like, what does that look like? The ocean? Does that look like the ocean? Guess what? Those are plates upside down when they zoom out, and they're like, "Got you." That's how easy it is to trick people, and it's like that's really dumb. Like, yes, yeah, sir, that was fucking rude. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I did think they were. Don't lakes. go out here ch- tricking me, you son of a bitch. I did think they were oceans because they look like oceans, but yeah, you pulled a ruse on. Me. Good <laughs> for you, but the world's still around. The only thing is, like, Crystal was stop trying to ask me about Stop. <laughs> crystal's trying to ask me about Stop. how far they go in the actor she's like how far what go <clears throat> how far they think they can go on and the I, earth yeah and i okay. told her that they think there's a antarctic wall and ice is surrounding all of it mm-hmm. and that once we get to it all you, the aliens you, live out you there. get shot down that's where the nazis are It'd be cooler if you said, like, aliens are cavemen. Like I said aliens. I know, so I'm saying. Aliens, works, cavemen, like... Yeah, but they all... Everybody never, think they the Nazis escaped to Antarctica. Yeah, but the Nazis, like... <laughs> it's just a bummer, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> Nazis lost. are just a fucking bummer, man. We lost. You know what, those Nazi guys? They're not so nice. No. They're not. Mm-mm. They're just... I, no, I, <laughs> somebody, should, somebody should handle that. that. Somebody should deal with that. We should go have a war for it. Those Nazi guys, I mean, uh, it's like we're talking like from the 1920s. It's like right when the Nazis take over. Everybody in America was wonder like, if that was the look at this dis- interesting mustache guy. I wonder if that then, was the beginning discussions where they were there like... Was, there was. A, there was an American Nazi party. Because nobody realized at the time like a man Hitler up, was going to try to co- conquer the world and kill all the Jews. Flipped up in the newspaper like, you know what? Oh, let's, who's let's, new leader in Germany? Oh, look at this let's guy. Not, let's not judge, honey. Let's Charlie not Chaplin judge. like sees his, sees the mustache. He's like, wait a <laughs> minute, this guy stole my bit. But like, let's give these guys a chance. Let's hear them out. That what? Yes, that was there was a real thing that happened in America. I just want to hear the discussions of people going. Like, I, there's, I could, well, gee, golly, I could let's probably give them a find chance. you. Like our like news articles by American writers that are like these Nazi guys are swell. Or like videos what? of when like did them people marching. Stop talking like that. Jane Gillis talks about that. My favorite comedian. And he's like, "That's the last time white people were cool." And so we went, "Meh." <laughs> and then like, <laughs> and then he talks about how Jackie Ro- Jackie Robinson's first at bat, and, <laughs> and then he hits it, and then it just knocked all that out of white people. I think I heard that. <laughs> I think I heard that, but yeah, it's it's weird that we all talked really fast and they talk like this. Right? That's because that was radio. People out in public did not talk like that, but that was just like the radio. No, kids. well, I guess <laughs> you really think people. Were, hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Yeah, I, I'm no. trying to think of uh, like I don't know what is it, Abbott and Costello and stuff like that. You know, do they? I'm trying to recall. I've, only seen a few. Videos. No, I don't think they have like a. Because I'm thinking of what's who's. That's in like black a. And I white. think that's like an East Coast thing too, specifically. Mash like Man, that. She. Like the mafia thing. I've got a couple. The couple of here. She. They always got a little bit of a big old cigar. They're like yeah, she. We're gonna Skull get you, and Joe, in the Suggins gang. You're gonna and go shoot the name into the wall the and then run away. Yeah. Exactly. That's a famous John Mulaney bit where he's talking about you could just. 
just back in the day before DNA, you could just get away with anything. Sir, 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 there's a pool of the killer's blood over there. Ew, gross, clean it up. <laughs> and then you'd rob a bank and you'd scream out your name, Golden Joe and the Suggins gang, and shoot your name into the wall and nobody would ever find you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man, she, but yeah, it's like that's a that's a good stand up, by the way. Yeah. I think it's his first Netflix special, New in Town. Before he was, I'm high, gay, all cracked out. I have eights, and I'm new in town. No, I think that's too a, bold. I think he was always <laughs> doing crack, though. Yeah, he was on like all kinds of drugs because his last one was when he came all clean, and yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, or yeah, had yeah. an intervention. He had a lot of famous people as intervention, which was crazy. Well, he unless, did writing for so many years, right? Unless he's he an made, SNL writer. Unless he made it up, but it sounded like it was real. And he's like an SNL writer. He's a comedian. And it's all these other yeah. things, right? Yeah. Though so he has the history. He wrote Big Mouth, dude. Did he write Big Mouth? Yeah, him and Nick Kroll. Nick Kroll. Nick Kroll. I don't. I didn't really like Nick Kroll. I never really liked Big Mouth. I I don't I I don't fuck with it. I don't. I tried to start Scott Pilgrim last night. It's bad. I it's so different. I have to restart it. It's not what you expect. I don't. I think the joke is Scott Pilgrim's not even in the fucking show. I hmm. thought it was gonna be literally the movie and the comic mixed together, and it's like I don't know where Scott's at. It focuses a lot on Ramona. Ramona fights the. Is that a problem? Lesbian? No, I don't care. <laughs> It, it's a cool take because everyone's in it. Chris Evans is howling in it as uh, God. Why am I drawing a blank on him? Don't look at me. I've seen that movie maybe once. Really? Wow. Not the whole thing. But I forgot his fucking name. Movie's good. It talks like this. Chris Evans. It's a skateboard one. Yeah. I'm gonna go get blazed in my Winnie. <laughs> it's one of the best lines in the movie. Um. Yeah. But did you ever look at um, Buster Keaton shit? Name sounds familiar, but nothing's oh, coming You have to you. watch it because it made me think of when I said that. But I bet in Costello, and I showed Crystal, like, I think Joe Rogan had a part where they were talking about it. And it was like he was famous for stunts. And it's the stunts he does. It's like, oh, is that the guy that would like a building would fall? Yeah. And he'd be like in the middle. Yeah. And it's like, or he'd like try to hold on to a train. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like his arm should be ripped off. And there was no wires, there's no strings. And when the building fell, that he had a look at it in time where it's going to be at where to step at and I just feel like why didn't you die yeah he's dead now <laughs> it wasn't because the house fell on him it's not the just a real witch. house fell on him this time yeah not just a panel of a house I mean his ruby slippers came off and no place like home no place like him. <laughs> so wait he's the wicked witch yeah he's just, just stuck under there yeah you said the house fell <laughs> on I guess him. <clears throat> that was a powerful tornado yeah and blew her ass to Oz. Can't, well, it was all a dream. Just to read a book. <laughs> now I want to see. Now I want to see. Uh, was that? I wonder if that's wait. the first time they did that trope, where the whole story is like, "Oh, it was all a dream." Uh, probably. I mean, Wizard. I Oz, mean, there's probably like an example of that. It was right? the first movie in color, shit. right? Like, well, we call them movies of color now. The color movies. <laughs> Like, it was the first movie with color in it, so it's got to be, like... Was it the first there. movie? Yeah. Oh, okay. To my knowledge, because that's why, like, they did... That the that. hanging guy in the background? I, I, supposedly, that's not true. It's not real. Yeah. <laughs> like, what fucking munchkin would take his life at I'm that? pretty sure it's, like, a prop somebody put yeah, in the back. Yeah, it is a prop. And, but it's just funny to think some munchkin's like, I can't take it. I hope they find me like just this. Just hang in there. <laughs> this job sucks. I hate my life. She, My wife, she cheated on me. But hope everyone sees this. And that dog pissed in my shoes. And he just sits there and hangs. And people are like, oh, look, look at it. It's a prop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just toss the little guy off and mm -hmm. just like oh. someone goes up there and spins him around. <laughs> Anybody got candy to fill this up with? Just start taking <laughs> wax at him. That's horrible. <laughs> it is horrible. You think it's... zombies would play uh, pinata with us and like eat our insides? That's all oh. I could imagine when you said that. It was like somebody cracking him open and all of a sudden everybody going down just eating the intestines. Oh, that's a huge crack, man. <laughs> You gotta really hit us. We don't got like thin skin. We're not zombies. Sound that I bloated you, I guess. I still. I mean, I figure if you're bloated, you gotta take some hard hits. You want to try it? People have. Got, I'll hang you up and just start bashing at you. <laughs> people. People. <laughs> that sounded more sexual than I think. Ended it too. People. Uh, 
people are what get beat pretty bad like with sticks and bats in like hate crimes or robberies or, or when they whatever. fall down the stairs exactly <laughs> and they still don't have guts spilling out and stuff like that no not unless you get that's stabbed. why i'm shocked like in shawn of the dead when the homie falls out into the pit of the zombies and they're just pulling at his stomach and then they're pulling his intestines out i'm like that'd be a lot of work with some fragile no fingers. i could open i no so you could put your hand your fingers yeah. deep into my stomach and just pull and be like yeah, yeah for jesus and like just rip you apart like aries yes yeah i don't know about that i i i considering we can bite our own fingers off and tear our own arms off Hey, I believe it. I don't think I have the willpower to bite my own finger. Yeah, off. that's the thing is your brain stops you from doing it. But people on PCP have been known to like just tear their arms, like get their arms like caught in the car and just go <laughs> tear it out. Isn't that uh, what, what was it? Uh, PCP ba- angel bath, dust, bath salts. That that happened you know, once. People were that happened once. Buying people's face off. That happened once. So what else do you do when you're on bath salts? And are they really used for baths? I have no fucking clue. I know no, I know nothing about bath salts. That's a See, that's a that's a Florida so thing. You don't even know about the one thing. Could have happened a million times. The one thing. The one. Now I got you all fucked up. Yeah. I heard one thing, and I was like, the one. Well, I think one thing is I was saying you only heard the one thing. One thing to do. But yeah, three. I, I don't know. I came up with these just for the third one. For or you. <laughs> what are you singing? <laughs> I got what is it one. Word. What? I can't remember what the fucking song. Well, who One sings thing. It? I can't remember. Ow! I shouldn't yell. <laughs> I thought of Brian McKnight song. Then I tried thinking of some other song. One is the dream. loneliest no. number that you ever do. No, not not not, yes, not quite that. Yes, it's the saddest experience you'll ever know. Shubri bop. Speaking of sad experiences, we have Thanksgiving oh. coming. How's that sad? I don't know what we're going to do. My wife gets back the week of it, dude. I don't know what to do. What day? Go hang out at your mom's house. The fuck are you talking she about? Does, she'll be working. Dude, any any nurse wants to work, they get double time. Or double, well, like, Go hang out with your family at your mom's house. We all got our own families now. It's I, sad. I, I'm going to do my own thing. It's sad. Once you get older, everybody gets their own little families, and they do their own thing. And Unfortunately for us, I, my wife, I don't think is planning or thinking of Actually, now that I think about it, I should be texting her um, about what are we planning on doing. I asked you a million times, what do you want for Christmas, and you never answer me every time. You've asked me once. Twice. I know for sure twice. Maybe not a million. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> but I know twice. I've never in the past ever had to tell you. And I don't really feel like I'm I should the, ask you for anything. It's not like that big I'm, a deal. I'm at, I'm at the point with you now. I, I think I was talking to Jake about this. Who has been on the I'm podcast. at the point with you now. I'm getting sick of your shit. That you don't collect hero clicks. Nope. Magic. I don't know what you're doing in magic anymore. Like I don't have no idea. Shirts, you don't really wear the shirts. Do you want to buy me a volcanic island? Yeah. This is cost you seven fifty dollars seven hundred and fifty dollars. I would love to find someone's collection that has that. And start slinging it like crack. But um yeah, it, you don't really do clothing. You could just it, it, I turn it into like your not grandma, get me in like, <laughs> Do you need socks? <laughs> you know, like I got you this scarf. Or maybe I'll get you a starter cap and get an autograph. <laughs> Give me a starter jacket. Dude, that'd be dope. I'm going to get you a Denver because you like Denver. Do starter jackets? And I think they're coming back, but in elementary, dude, you were dope as fuck rocking a starter <laughs> jacket. I had Dallas Cowboys like, what's up? Emmett Smith, baby. Speaking of which, they went, um, they're in Texas, so they went and toured the. Dallas Stadium. Yeah, it looked pretty cool. They were on the field and throwing the big, football around. Big, uh, what is it called? Oh my god! It's, it's called a hole. No, it's the stupid thing that plays the fucking game while you're watching the game. Titantron? Yeah. Don't they have a Don't they have a huge one? I can't remember. A huge. I just know that they took pictures and they uh, were tossing the football around in the video. Who were? My. Let's see my brother, my son, and his grandfather, my father-in-law. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I would have just ran and went in the middle of the star and made 
sand castle. What was it called? Angels? Snow angels? Snow angels. I said sand castles. I would have went and made some of those. I don't know how the Run tour- on the sideline, grab somebody's popcorn, and throw it in your face. Yeah. Like the Terrell, Terrell Owens thing. I'd run to the other side, touch down. Put jump, the ball. Jump to the gate, try to do one of those. Uh, and then just fall back. Yeah. Or not make it. What's more embarrassing? If you get up there and you fall off, or you not can't get up it. there? Not making it. Because <laughs> you at least got there, and it's like... Uh, for me, it's like watching a video of this guy like running... And then just ooh, pulls a hemi, and you could just tell this guy was like me, just out of shape, just not meant to do it no more. <laughs> Uppies. <laughs> Uppies. Yeah. Someone's gonna come over and <laughs> lift you up there. And there's like that video where uh, this. Do you gr- give up immediately, or do you at least try a second time? I'll try a second time. Okay. Girl, but that's three is too many. Girl gets hurt wrestling, and then here comes her dad, scoops her up. And then he's walking with her, and they're playing, like, maybe Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. And then, like, he's, like, walking with her, and he hella trips. It's like, you're not the cool dad, you know? And he drops her, and it turns into the flute version of it. You know what I'm talking about? That, like, fucked the up The recorder version. version? Yeah, the recorder. It's just, you know, a I thought you were going to be like, stay in shape. and then he F5'd her. Oh, dude, that'd be My dope. buddy sent me a clip of some guy F5'ing somebody, and, uh... Um... F5's Lesnar's move, right? Yeah. I think so. You're going to say lesbian. A uh, Lesnar move, yes. Somebody F5-ing somebody in a, in a fucking gas station. Like, pay, beats the guy up, picks him up on his shoulder and goes... F5 <laughs> is raw in a ring. <laughs> I couldn't imagine in a gas station. I can find the clip. You know, we talked a lot about convenience stores on the last one. And what I, all I got to say is my 7-Eleven over here... I'm really cool with all them, but they fucking all hate their lives, dude. Who? All the parent workers. I've talked to them so many times. They openly cuss in front of me. They're like, man, that fucking bitch that just was right up here. Duh, duh, duh. I don't know what the fuck she wanted. And I'm Damn. just like, yeah, some people don't understand the how it goes, you know. Like, Ryan was with me that day, and he was just looking at me like, what the fuck is her problem? Yeah. Oh, he's inside of the... He's inside. God damn! <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's like, he did it the wrong way, though, to my knowledge. Um, I think you, he, he sort of did like a back. he kind of like a RKO little. Yeah, bit. I think they call it like TKO he, or some shit. Um, Regardless, that's not cool in the middle of it falling on the ground. My, I love crazy scenes from. Gas station is like the one where the guy runs in with like a baseball bat and the dude pulls a sword out from behind. <laughs> and then one time with this dude um in the middle of a robbery, the guy who owns the store converts the dude to Islam. God damn. <laughs> they get on their knees and they pray together. Jesus Christ. And then there's the classes the twisted T one that'll I'll never oh, forget yeah. that. <laughs> The, the smack heard round the fucking world. That Twisted T one was fucking ridiculous. But the only thing I don't like about that, though, is he tries to be too cool and flip it in his hand before he throws it, and he drops it. Mm. It would have been so much smoother if, if he, he just <laughs> caught it and just went hard on him. But, but he like drops the fact it, he hits him and it explodes, dude, it's just out. In your head would be. My buddy just said I have no idea what's, what it is. We'll watch it together. <laughs> this guy around. What about the man? What man? <laughs> that guy's clearly so drunk. And he says it in the exact same time. Oh, it, he, my buddy said to me because the the tweet is NFL doing their Ray Lewis tribute. Oh, because me and him have been talking about that. Like, yeah, like Ray Lewis definitely murdered some people. He's definitely shot up, shot some people in their car. Um, <laughs> and everybody's just okay with this. <laughs> we just. They, that's what they're talking about. Oh, that's literally who they're talking. That's what we. Those are just Ray Lewis fans. Yeah, where she- it's not mine. <laughs> what murder? I don't see any murder around here. Um, uh, you get a good look. Another, because me and him always talk about. There's another player who hired somebody to kill somebody. Really? Yeah, his name is Marvin Harrison. That's some bitch ass. His shit. son is gonna be the first overall pick in the draft, bro. <laughs> women do that to get rid of their men for insurance. And most of the time, when you hire somebody, you get arrested because that was a secret cop. Yeah. Yeah, the cop gets to keep the money. 
I don't think so. No. Oh, they probably keep it and go, oh, we're going to donate it to the city. And they all go out to the bar at Hooters. I'm going to go put that on. I guess on. that makes sense. I'm going to go put that on Craigslist. Like, does anybody need one to get off? Yeah, I'll be the guy to off him. Oh, did you see the senator who wanted to fight that dude? Yeah. <laughs> he was like, let's throw down. He's like, we could be adults and stuff like that. He goes, yeah, let's be adults. Let's be adults and fight right now. So I was watching the news. And who had to get between them? Old Sanders. Hey, 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 hey. Don't you go that way. You used to be able to cane people. Damn. And he then goes on, he's like, yeah, Andrew Jackson had uh, nine duels with different men all in the Senate. And I'm like, that's not... that." And these people are, like, making this Or running and our stuff. country. <laughs> and they just... Hey, I, we I, can do it right now. We can do it right now. I'd be I'd be weak if they just squirt up outside. <laughs> but, yeah, it's funny that Bernie Sanders said, go, hey, you know, get all old man on him. Like, he's doing it. the Velociraptor thing. Yeah. It's like holding them back. I'll like, control them. Wow. Wow. You know what time that means. It's time for me to take my, my medication. medication. <laughs> it's, it's exciting times. What are you doing? Getting this stretched out so I can go grab it right here. What's, my medication. What, what are you getting stretched out? <laughs> my butthole so I can put my suppository in, asshole. <laughs> You're going to help. No. No, like I said, though, I want to go on Craigslist and be like, you need somebody off? I'm your guy. And then. <laughs> like Jack off? Yeah, the, but that, that'll be the mic <laughs> joke. It's like, they'll be like, hey, okay. so I'm here to get jerked off. Throw some gloves on. Oh, you'll be getting jerked off. Not doing the jerking, I see. I see. I mean. Why, you're too big to jerk? I mean. That'd... It's a jerk or be jerked world, man. That'd be. All right. <laughs> that Shane Gillis talks about if they're paying me to jerk me, that's what it sounds Shane like. Shane Gillis talks about um what actually we should just watch that. You have Netflix, right? You bet your sweet ass. After this, we're watching the the new today. Shane we're Gillis sponsored by uh, Netflix. No, we're not. Don't give them any fucking extra. No one's listening. It doesn't matter. But one. Have Netflix- you noticed all these services are like increasing their prices slowly over time? <laughs> I took a deep breath and caught my other breath. Yeah, dude, it's fucking I took a me. deep breath. Turns out I'm 100% bad bitch. <laughs> she don't say that, does she? Yeah. No. I took a DNA. I took Turns a DNA out. test. I didn't take a deep breath. I know. It just sounded like oh. when you said, don't I took a Don't fucking correct breath. me with Lizzo, all right? Lizzo's cool. I'm part of the Lizzo army. Except for she's canceled now. Okay, she said her she sex girls had to lose weight. And like put them in like overtly sexual scenarios i don't know i don't care i don't care all i know is um t swift fans were trying to cancel um the travis thing. kelsey and the fact that people go out of their way to try to cancel people well, is really dumb well yeah that's all stupid but it's fact, funny i never knew who he was until taylor swift made him famous because he's a fucking football player if you don't watch football you're people, not gonna know people are is. like football fans are all like, <laughs> so obvious. taylor swift he put him not, on the map he did not get famous from Tyler Swift, and I'm like, damn, he will pro- dude, I never heard of him until... He will probably go down as the greatest yeah, tight end of all time. Really? Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's the currently the touchdown leader, the receiving yards leader. It's just funny, they show leader. who he was with before, and how he dressed and shit, and then how he looks now. He's yeah, it's a PR relationship. They aren't in a real relationship. You don't think he's in? No, that? fuck no. Maybe once, but no. No, fuck with no. Tay Swift, you don't go once. Once you go That's t- definitely a PR relationship. Once you go Tay, you don't go away. You keep going. Until she writes a horrible song about you. Yeah. I think Taylor Swift's music is garbage. Sucks. And I just thought the world should know that. It sucks. I mean... Yeah, get, her music does suck. I've been getting into uh, Dancing with the Stars because Jason Mraz is on it. Mr. A to Z? And he's still in it. It's pretty far into it. But this week coming up is... First of all, this last week was Whitney Houston week, and that really bored me because these songs aren't fun to dance to. Like, Disney's the shit week, dude, all right? When they're all doing dances to Disney songs, that's the jam. Then they're doing Whitney Houston. I'm kind of like, eh. And then the, what this song? W- song of the South? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. That would be fucking awful. 
No, this next week coming up, it's like, it's Taylor Swift week. And she's like, I'm sorry, I can't be there. I'm in Brazil on tour, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm getting hella too serious in this Dance with the Stars. I'm like, I don't want to see you guys dancing that shit. <laughs> I want to see you guys dancing some real good music, man. Like, Motown week was dope. Yeah. Soul Train. They're doing a... Uh, Every time I used to Twist catch reruns of Soul Train late Did at you? night on TV. Yeah, I don't remember where exactly, but... Uh, I was just out there in my little this is disco suit. B E T at night. It's like with my fucking afro. Looking like one of those white guys. Yeah. <laughs> I mean the white dudes could get the froze going on. Uh, but I I used to watch Soul Train because it came out like super Soul late at night. Soul Train. But they weren't like repeats. I was watching the actual like mm. Yeah, well you're old as fuck. Well, cause it was on like in the nineties. Nineties were so good. When was that? We're talking about... There's nothing before 2000. No. Yeah. Every 2000's the start of history. Yeah, Sally. <laughs> nothing else matters. <laughs> and nothing else, else matters. matters. We're talking about... And no one else is fatter. 90s made some, like, horrible movies, but you still enjoyed them. No, the 90s you remember very nostalgically, so you see it through rose-tinted glasses. A lot of the stuff in the 90s was really cool, but a lot of it was garbage. Of course it's garbage, but you still, like, like it because The 90s of that. is fucking Attitude Era. Not, like, in terms of, like, if that's when the Attitude Era was. In terms of the quality of it, it was the Attitude Era. Um, Everything in the Attitude Era was good. There was never any weird stuff. No. As far as wrestling? Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's like, it's like mo- if you go back and watch most of the Attitude Era wrestling, it's actually garbage. I wouldn't say most of it. It's just there is really good you talent. You want to be with Stone Cold? Really what? good talent. You imagine every... I'm going to keep kicking the shit out of this asshole every time you guys say what? Every week we got The Rock, Stone Cold, Undertaker. It's like crazy. These guys are icons. And it's like back then... Mark it, Henry, you know, Mark having Henry. sex with an old lady and <laughs> giving birth to a hand. Mark Henry was great in The Nation. All mm. right. The Nation was pretty pushing it. Yeah, you can't get away with that anymore. Oh, dude, like I was watching a clip from Tropic Thunder. It's like Street. It's like what the last the last one was like the Street Profits. They're, they're that's, still around, that, though. Are but they still I, the Street, street yeah. Profits? Ugh. But it, Vince's little... I don't know if Vince named him and all, but... I mean, Crime Time? Yeah. That was like 10 years ago. Let's get two black guys together and make them a tag team. Call them Crime Time. Mm-hmm. John Cena used to tag team with them. Because he was thwart life. Basic thugonomics. He's the professor of thugonomics. Um, but yeah, it, it was... Weird. It was a weird. Everything was looser. Sandman no one walking in and out of the. No one cared. But stands. also in real life, though, like Jerry Springer was a thing. Jerry Springer is stupid. It was stupid. And Everyone bad, watched it. But it's bad. Everyone watched sure, it. Sure, it's it was like definitely a horrible liked. part of our culture that we should never should have done. We should have never basically allowed allowed a show to just wheel minorities in front of people and make fun of them for an hour. Well, should we let Maury just keep bringing on deadbeat same, dads? Same thing. Maury's stupid. The fact that people I watch I think Maury. I saw it was on the other day, and I went by it, and it was another paternity test, and I started thinking, did he just realize this is my shtick? Yeah. Because how famous is the words, you're not the father. You are. Not the father. Not the father. And I was like, does he go like What if he just said, you are, and just left? <laughs> Dropped the paper. Mm-hmm. Didn't let him read it. Took it's a, just bl- it's out. blank. It's blank. The papers, they've always been blank. He's just been lying this whole time. <laughs> he starts dancing like how the dudes dance when they like mm-hmm. he realize, does a backflip. Backflip when he realizes that. Does a chair. That's the fucked up thing, too, is like all those people that are so happy get it. I get it, dude. Like the girl, like you don't like her. Maybe she was a bitch. But that kid's sitting back there on the camera. Like. Like, Hella sad looking. No, the kid's the, like not even registering. It's even. But that anywhere. kid, that kid needs a fucking normal parents. It's yeah, just, well, you shouldn't have been cheating, bitch. <laughs> then they're always like, "Do you know who anyone could be the dad?" And she was the whole time going like, "It's for sure him." Then she's like, "There's a couple people in mind I could think of," and I'm like, "Oh my god!" That's what I'm saying. Then she's the worst be, part about it is that kid is, be has crazy. to go live with that hoe. Yeah. But, I mean, the dudes aren't the sharpest dudes, to be real, too. I'm not going to just shit on the women, because the guys going to end up like fucking Jada Pinkett Smith. Holy shit, dude. She's the worst. You seen Friday? No. You never seen Friday? The movie? Yeah. Yeah, a long time ago. 
You probably don't remember, but they put That's her... That's the damn movie. They put her face... It's the damn! I don't think people... Re- <laughs> That's what they refer to as. That's like the biggest... That's the biggest meme from that movie. No, you not... You, your ass got knocked the fuck you out. You got knocked the fuck out! They had the part where Debo shows up and it's Jada Pinkett's face on it. <laughs> and then Will Smith is red, the guy that he punches. And, uh... Chris Tucker is uh, Chris Rock. Mm-hmm. It looks so good how they did it. And then he's like, hey, where's my money at? And it's like Jada Pink and it's just like, fuck, dude. Dude. It works too well. But that's a whole nother What story. has she been in? Jada Pinkett Smith? Yeah. I can never think of like, um, like all of her money is his money, right? Basically. I don't know how it works. Because he's like rich as fuck, right? Like, I mean, like stupid rich. He's pretty fucking rich. Not Kevin Hart rich. No, he's bigger than Kevin Hart. No, but Kevin Hart's got his hands in fucking everything. Yeah, but I think if Will was smart, which I don't know if he was, <laughs> you ever he's, seen been Mark- make, he's been making money since Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You ever seen Mark Norman? No. Uh, he's a comedian. He's like a really. Regardless, he's some white guy, but he comes out as Kevin Hart. Oh, really? He comes because he's like. He's like, boom, pam, pow. He talks about like. Kevin Hart doesn't know. He doesn't pay, Kevin Hart's like not a real person. He doesn't pay attention to like normal people. So like he's just like I'm just gonna keep doing this till Kevin realizes somebody's been running hey, around. Hey, hey. His fucking and he voice. likes to do it when he's in foreign countries. That's hilarious. <laughs> he's Kevin Hart. Does he look like him? Uh, no, just a white guy. Oh God, that's even worse. I didn't know he was a white guy. Dude, Mark Norman's God is off the handle. Mark Norman. The- He's up. in a podcast with Shane Gillis, and I think it might have been Shane's podcast. Um, he keeps talking about like you ever you ever been with a black before? A black. <laughs> uh-huh. And every time he says that, Shane Gillis afterward goes people. <laughs> He's like, you know, I really like the black people. What did you say, Mark? Mark Normand. Normand. Only know one Norman, and he could rest in peace. Oh God, I'm not going to be at the wrestling event tomorrow. And they're all like. It's going to be a struggle tomorrow. I feel bad. I don't know if they're talking about me, why it's going to be a struggle. but Because I don't do none of the camera work. I just do the interviewing. But I see him now. I don't know this guy. Mm. I, I, don't, I don't know yeah. this man. I don't know who he is. He's very funny. He's appeared on Jimmy Fallon, apparently. Hmm. Real quick, Ariana Grande or Selena Gomez? Neither. I think Ariana Grande is really gross and just stop pretending to be black. And I you think she's trying to be black, dude? Did you have you seen her skin color since fucking? Yeah, she's tanning though, dude. No, dude, she's painting herself. No. That's fucking blackface. I don't care what anybody says. That's fucking. That's blackface. what I was talking about earlier. Was Tropic Thunder like oh. what stuff you can't do? Yeah. And well, I, no, apparently you can because Ariana Grande can come out of here on blackface every single day. Because they did the scene. They always show the scene where he he says the n word to Robert Downey Jr. and then. He slaps him for saying it. <laughs> and then that home, boy just pressed out people for yeah, you. Yeah, homie tries to come back and punch at him, and then he catches him and pulls him in hella hard for a hug. They've been hurting us for years. That man. word has put us back for a hundred years. Dude, it's such a fucking good movie. I don't care. Everyone, what do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? <laughs> I could just, if I... <laughs> If I had something, what did you say? Like a knife where I could shirt this up and make some good call of grains? Just how he did it. It's Robert Downey Jr., so people fucking let it go, I think. But on top of it... You just can't do it anymore. He talks about that. He's like, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. He's like, I, he's like, I called up every single one of my black friends and was like, can I do this? And they were like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But it's it's one of those things that's like... It's so satire that I, I don't see the problem with it. I honestly think the most problematic part of that movie is the... the uh, silent something Jack. Oh, simple that, Jack. That's what he said. I think was that that's ben, like way, Ben Stiller got he took the fucking bullet, the bullet for it. But, but again, there's a lot of movies that make fun of people. My favorite part of that whole movie is when Tom Cruise is on the phone. They take a step back. You know, it's and crazy. Fuck, he has to have fat hands. It's crazy that he <laughs> wanted dance. all that. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I yeah, don't but it's like f- Tom Cruise. But that's funny. That's funny. Matthew McConaughey's in it is great. Back and literally fuck your own ass. Like for them to pitch it to him and him do the character so well, uh, right. gross thing. Right. I got, I got two requests. <laughs> I can just imagine him all like happy. I want fat hands and I want to dance. And it's just weird because Ben Stiller is the one negotiating with them, so it's like they did do a skit a long time ago for the MTV Awards. So, 
where uh, Ben Stiller changed his last name to Cruz, C-R-O-O-Z, and he's a stunt double and does everything <laughs> he does, and he does a great impression of him. Mm-hmm. So it's a really funny. Oh, skit. I think I've seen that. Before. Yeah, it's a really funny skit. But it was for the MTV Awards. But I bet you from then they had a relationship. So it was probably a lot easier than just being a normal guy going like, "Hey, we want you to be this guy. He's kind of like this." He's like, "Hey, I got an idea." <laughs> He's like, "I got two requests: fat, fat hands, hands, and I want to dance." And then the dancing is fucking good. Yeah. It's not even like shitty dancing. Him grabbing it's his because Tom nut- Cruise isn't a real person. Him grabbing his nuts. Yeah. Ludicrous. Uh, get back. I think that's get, I know the song, but I'm trying to think of like what it's titled. I don't even. But I think the it's song get back that he dances to. But. It's get back, get back. I don't know you like that. Fuck! I used to love Ludacris back in those Ludacris. days. Back in those days. Um, now he's driving cars really fast. I'm furious. No, in space. You have to remember that him and if Tyrese space was space. real. That's true. <laughs> I think we've been over this, Ernie. Space ain't real, bro. I haven't seen it. I can't touch it. I can't feel it. You, you can see it when you look up in the air and see all the children's sparkles. Yeah, but I can't touch it. It's not a, if I can't touch it, that's it's not val- real. That's a valid point. <laughs> you can't touch it. Why do we wish upon stars? When you wish upon a star. But why star, do we? Somewhere. Because they're going to they blow up. Clouds are far. Ooh. You don't like that noise? That hurt. Um, I don't know. It's probably some fucking historical thing. I don't know. It's like some we've been doing it for like years. Some got one guy started it, and yeah. then everybody did it after that, and it just like got ingrained in our society. How can we prove space is real? <laughs> Go there. Gravity. <laughs> Gravity is working against. I think me. you just need to do karaoke for you. Gravity. I would. I would. I can't do that again. I, I would. Hella, I would hella go to uh, karaoke, but I don't want to go with a group. Not just me singing like by myself. Like, you <laughs> always get what you give. Don't, don't stop give. believing. I feel like that's the song that's always gets sang. Oh yeah, don't oh, yeah, it's, stop. That's like the Family Guy joke where they're like, someone singing, uh, don't stop believing, and it's them singing it or whatever. What is the something 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 small town? That's how he sings it. That's how Peter sings "Small Town." Uh, something, 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 something. Small uh, town. I was going into the what? that show introduced Toto uh, to me. Do, Africa by do, Toto. Do, 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 do. That is that. Yeah, that's how Joe meets his wife. Yeah, and then Peter comes in dressed as that guy and takes a a glass with a flower in it and water throws it against the wall in slow motion. That that song. I don't dun, know why dun, it's so dun, epic. Dun, dun, and people dun, were dun. making it timed. To when the, like the ball drops on New Year's Eve, to when the park finally kicks in. Mm. I bless the rain oh, of Africa. I don't know what it means, but I feel something. I think he's talking about dating a black girl. <laughs> That's literally, I think, what the song is. He's dating an African girl. No. It's a song about a guy dating an African girl. Before we wrap this up, I need you got to look it up. That's true. I'm. I believe the music video. Yeah, it's, <laughs> the music video is really weird. It's like all of them are just sitting in a room full of a bunch of like it's like an Indiana Jones room. Like a globe and like what artifacts and Matt. Look it up. Look up the music video what, too. Well, how would I write it? What's uh, Africa by Toto? What's what does Africa by Toto mean? Yeah, I guess I could do that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh-huh. That's the easiest way. What is it about? It popped up. Uh, what's the story behind Toto? Africa man loves a, loves a continent, Africa rather than. Just a perform- personal romance? I don't. That sounds stupid. That doesn't make any fucking sense. He based the lyrics on the night, a late night documentary with this depictions of African plight and suffering. That doesn't sound right either. Because then it would be like, let's save the kids down and at not. <laughs> <laughs> let's save the kids down, down and at Africa. <laughs> you had a, you're you were doing this I, like you're I, I, like, I touched like, it like we're all part of the. It's Michael Jackson's next. We one. are the world. Refund the world. Have Refund you, it sooner. Have you seen? Give saw, back the rights that little Timmy has as a you, consumer. Have you seen the video where the behind the scenes where they're trying to? It's a famous Ew, how, video. What are you doing? Scratching my ear. Oh, your thumb made me think you had like a ball sack on your ear. No, nope. it looked like it was like you were like pinching your whole ear. Yep, no. I'm a villain from uh, Back to the or uh, Men in Black. No, that's ball. It's a ball chinian. Yeah. Um, Kicks in the, that's a ball chinian. 
<laughs> that's that's uh, also a decent scene. Um, Why wow, you like looking at balls or something? No, it's just when he's trying. <laughs> no, I don't like looking at balls. <laughs> I forgot he's pointing them all out to Tommy Lee, or Tommy Lee's pointing them all out to... That's, I think, Tommy Lee's pointing them out to him. Yeah, because he's like, this one, that one's this, that one's this, I call their weak spots. But, um... Damn, trying to make my phone break dance. Oh, I was going to show you the the Toto music video. Doom, 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 doom. I don't... I think you're wrong with the It's About a Black Girl. Now, if you listen to the song Jungle Fever. What the fuck is the point of this? Why would I need to hold my phone like this? Wouldn't I want to hold my phone like this? I guess it works. Oh, it does work at some point. My wife bought me it. I don't know. Uh, Thanks, Allstate. Jungle Fever is about dating a black girl. They're like in a weird room. Yeah, don't get that copyright. It's kind of weird if it was just him, like... Like he saw documentaries, like, I'm just going to sing about it. <laughs> he's just supposed to find the books, like he's in a library, just singing to one person across the library. I mean, oh, man, in all fairness, it is a black girl. Well, she's cute. She, she's hot as fuck, but... I mean, only the best for the Toto. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this version. It's like the dance yeah. version. Yeah. But nothing's going on in it. <laughs> you should have gong. There's not a romance going on, though. That's what, like, you're making it sound like. That's what I thought it was. Because he's talking oh. about, like, at the airport and, like... Yeah, there's this the part where the old man. I I just don't think there's a romance in in the reigns of Africa. You're still not getting it there. It's just pictures <laughs> of globes that are round. Thank Pretending you. Pretending to look at books. Maybe he's trying to impress her. Like, I'm smart. Hurry, boy, she's waiting there for you. Africa. Yeah, it's the name of the girl. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a fucking weird-ass music video. <laughs> It'd be weird if it was just he watched a documentary and got so in touch with Africa. Like, he never experienced it. So he made a video to be like, I'm experiencing it now. It's full of books. I wonder if you ever traveled to Africa after this. Probably. You probably performed this song in Africa. Hey, you Play Africa. <laughs> he takes the book out. This is Africa and holds it at the camera. Yeah, because you know that's what Africa's about. It's about throwing spears and lions. Oh, Lord, is that what happened? There's fire. There's a lot of stuff going on. But I just, I, I don't think it's about a romance. It's just a book of Africa. He literally is falling in love with Africa. And it's over. Just like that. Like this podcast? Just like this podcast. Like, Prove this Declan is our wrong. Toto moment. Prove Declan wrong. It wasn't about a girl. It was about Africa. So make sure you remember that. I'm pretty sure, sure it's about books. but I think all I got from that Watch was the books. video and you decide. Seven people that watch and listen. You decide. And then you like, subscribe, and share. And then watch our other videos. Ooh, we got Best There Is podcast, and there's so much going on. We got to talk about Loki. We got to talk about Steve Yon as a century, and people going crazy. It's, oh, it's going to be a good one. I wanted to comment it's gonna be a good on one. the video and say, wow, Ernie doesn't like Asian people. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but that's the joke I always make. Every time you say anything, I'm just like, wow, Ernie doesn't like black people. Yeah. That's your go-to to get me. Uh, but I was like, I don't know if I can cancel. I don't know if I can put him on blast in a YouTube comment in section. a typed out form and reveal. You, I mean, my name is my Re name reveal, on YouTube. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. So you just saying, see let's get me. a secret account. Your no. secret account would be revealed. I guess. My secret safe with me. 
Because I'll know it's you. I'll so know. like, subscribe, share. Thank you for everything. And we will talk to you next time. Stick it up your butthole. In Africa.